the wind is out here being disrespectful once again um so i'm doing my video outside because i just wanted to be one with nature and also it just feels like i kind of just wanted to yeah just really be one with nature and just like show it off and, yeah be out here with the video plus like my skin looks amazing out here look at it model <clears throat> um i'm wearing it looks like i have a double chin but like i don't okay but anyways i'm doing another dumb things i thought or unrealistic things that i thought as a child so let's get into it also please be aware of this wind it is very windy out here because i live in the what chicago chicago <laughs> when i was younger like maybe three or five my mom we were like walking somewhere and i kept hearing like a chilingalinga 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 and i was like ma is that your knee and do you know my mom had the nerve to say yes that's my knee making that noise and i was like horrified i was like not even horrified mortified i was like oh my god do you have chains in your me i didn't even know that was possible and she was like yeah i do and i was like wow okay so then i realized my mom she she likes to wear a lot of like little trinkets on her like bracelets anklets jewelry all of that stuff so like as i got older i realized it was just her um anklet and every time she would move, and it was an anklet on her, um, like, leg, on her ankle, uh, it would make a noise. So, I'm like, from the ages between three to five, possibly, you had me thinking you had some coins in your knee. How rude. <laughs> okay, another one is when Jamie Lynn Spears got pregnant. Um... I was watching, I had like looked it up on YouTube because I wanted, I was like, how did she get pregnant? Oh my God, now there's no more. It's like, oh, you want to know why? It's not there. Um, and then they was saying something about the condom break. It's like a fake recreation. This is before all the fancy stuff on YouTube happened. And this is when like, you know, it was still kind of new-ish. Um, so it was like a little fake, little... It was fake, <laughs> um, but it was like using her picture, the boy, her boyfriend's picture at the time, and it was like, and it wasn't her voice. It was like the video's creator's voice, and it's like, oh my god, the condom broke, and I was like, oh my gosh, they were using condiments. <laughs> well, well, they forgot to use condiments. Like, I thought condom was short for condiments. And I was like, oh my gosh. And yeah, so like, for the longest, I was like, wow, you use condiments when you're like, you know, getting down. And I'm not sure if I even fully knew what, um, you know, like how you got pregnant at the time. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Alright, I need to go see what else I said because I'm totally uh, <laughs> This one is kind of funny. So, like, probably, I want to say when I was, like, still in high school, possibly college, but I think mainly high school. Like, maybe a junior in high school. So, you know, like, in the movies how the actors, like, they jump over the gate and keep going and running. So I was like, I had to take out the garbage and it's like, it's a gate and we would have to like unlock that. And then just like the garbage thing was right there. And I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time for me to try and do like they do in the movies and like hop over the fence and you know, do that. My mom was out there watching me, right? All right. so. I climbed the thing and then I noticed at the top, you know, like the ending parts of the gate thing was like still there. And I was like, I can't do it. Cause like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have to like, you know, prepare myself to jump. Cause, you know, I 
can't just like hop up there and just go for it because I'm gonna break my leg or something. So do y'all know, I just sat there, up there, scared. I was like, I hate you now. I'm gonna hurt myself if I get down. This nigga's gonna hug me. I got this garbage bag. How am I gonna get over there? So, I don't know how or what, but I think I climbed back to the side like I'm still at the top but I just like you know put myself back on the side that I was on when I was climbing up and somehow my leg got scraped like scratched I said scraped my leg got scratched and then my t-shirt caught on to like the top and it caused uh, why am I talking like that oh my god my t-shirt got caught on the top of the little gate thing and it caused a little rip and I'll show you guys that shirt, but I was like, oh my gosh, never again. So when I was also younger, I could not distu distinguish the difference between like a real life death and a movie death. Like I thought whenever a character died in movies, they died in real life. My really like best example is Stump the Yard. When Chris Brown died, I was like, oh my gosh, Chris Brown is dead. I was like really crying. I was like, <laughs> I thought that movie was like real life. But then I was like, I gotta watch the Chris Brown Jesse video then. <laughs> oh, um, another one. This is kind of cute though, but I'm like still sad about it. So when I was younger, when like, um, when like Comcast, they used to have like just music channels like depending on like the drama the drama and they would like actually show the video instead of like a fact or something so this music video came on and i was obsessed with mermaids at the time and i was like oh my gosh that girl she looks exactly like a mermaid oh my god who is that and and like every, I was like still a kid when it, when I saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh! And like from then on, I used to always think like, who was that like video? Like what video was that? And who was that girl? Um, at first, I thought it was uh, Sade, but it, it's not. And then I happened to look at that video again, and I realized it was my favorite singer, Aaliyah. I was like, or, okay, I'm not sure if it's Aaliyah or Aaliyah, but I'm sorry, I'm just gonna pronounce it as Aaliyah. I might just say both, because I love her and I do not want to disrespect her name. Put some respect on her name. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I just found the mermaid. It's Aaliyah, my favorite, like, singer, the princess of R&B. I was like, I listen to like okay and this is the rock the boat video one of her last um videos she had made um before her death and I was like this whole time all I had to do was listen to that you see I was like listening to um are you that somebody um one in a million four page letter if your girl only knew hot like fire i was listening to like those on repeat and all i had to do was like go listen to rock the boat and i just saw that mermaid again and i was like this is such a bittersweet moment also my birthday is two days before she died um but 1998 instead of 2001 so you know i'm always like dang why i guess i was told so i used to read like fan fiction stories on what pad yes what pad and i was like oh i just know i'm gonna be discovered at this concert or that concert or something like oh my gosh me and my cousin we used to like um i used to like the band mindless behavior and me and my cousin was like we should fake some european accent like act like we're from britain and that we travel all the way to america just to come and see y'all and meet y'all like we was hanging by the tour bus and stuff um like at the end of the concert and we was like yes we're gonna act like we're from britain and stuff and then we would be like but what if they ask us what part we'll just be like uh 
Britain. <laughs> but yeah, we was like, yeah, they're gonna feel some sympathy. Then they're gonna be like, hey, let's hang out, yada, yada, yada. And yeah, no. Um, but yeah, I truly thought that's how my love life was gonna be, you know? How you casually bump into somebody, stare into their eyes and be like, I'm in love. Or, you know, la di da di da Or the enemies to lovers trope or all of that other <laughs> weird fanfic stuff. Um, completely nonsense and alive. It works out for some people, did not work out for me. Slightly hurt, but we're, we're moving through it. We're getting past it. <laughs> I thought I would have a relationship like the movies. I already went through that with the little Waka Pad. I call it Waka Pad. I know it's like Wat Pad or whatever, but I like this for some reason. Waka Pad just. It felt smoother. It felt like better. Oh my god, my foot just scared me. I legit thought that was a person. <laughs> I was like, um. I thought I was about to die, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I talked about this one like somewhat briefly before um, when I was talking about like my social anxiety. But back in middle school, y'all, I was so shy. Like, I was so shy. I was like so shy to the point where I don't know what I thought, but I thought something bad would happen if I like spoke or something. So I was basically a mute into life. Yeah, I don't know what I thought was gonna happen, but I was like so freaking quiet. But I, I did talk during like presentations or something. I didn't want to, but you know, I wasn't as nervous as I was when I got to like college. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was like a different environment, but like in college, I was mortified if I had to present it. But in like middle school and high school, I was like, okay with it. You know, none of that, or you can't hear me crap. <laughs> I was good, I believe. I might have blacked out on all of those presentations because I was, it was the flight or flight and you know, adrenaline was like going. So honestly, I don't even remember what happened. But yeah, those are all of my dumb but also realizations that I made as a little preteen, child kid from the kid to preteen to teen ages i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was very windy i'm so sorry but i really wanted to be outside when i made this video so please forgive me and just bear with me um remember to like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you're notified each time i post and i will see you guys next week yeah. Now I'm about to go eat some breakfast because I'm hungry. So I'm about to go eat me a croissant. Stop! I could have dropped my croissant!